Today I'm going to cover Joseph Murphy's excellent talk, The Master Key to Wealth. For those of you who don't know who Joseph Murphy is, he was a New Thought teacher and speaker who had one of the largest churches of New Thought when he was alive and also had a weekly radio show that was listened to by millions of people. In addition to being a minister of New Thought wisdom, he was also a psychologist as well. So there's four main points that Murphy makes that he claims if you follow them, you'll never lack for money again. The first point is to recognize that God is your source. On the physical plane, your income might come from your employer or real estate or wherever it might come from, but on a higher plane, you realize that God is your source. As you recognize that God is the source of your good and that God is infinite, you can trust that everything is working together for your good, that you must be divinely supplied because God is infinite supply, and also that God being infinitely intelligent can meet your needs at every moment of time and point of space. The second point Murphy makes is that you must affirm wealth ideas. What you plant into your subconscious mind with your conscious mind will begin to grow and manifest in your life, body, and environment. So plant into your subconscious ideas of health and wellness. This, by the way, brings me to point three. Murphy says to plant ideas into your mind by taking five minutes a day, morning and night, excuse me, morning and night, and affirm the following. I am now writing in my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth. God is the source of my supply, and all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space. God's wealth flows freely, joyously, and ceaselessly into my experience and I give thanks for God's riches forever circulating in my experience. Keep repeating that for five minutes a day, morning and night, and watch what happens in your life. He also says to repeat the words, wealth, success, over and over to yourself at night before falling asleep to impress these two ideas upon your subconscious. Lastly, never finish any negative statements about wealth. Instead of telling yourself, I can't afford that, tell yourself that you can afford what you want, that you are divinely supplied, that all of your bills are paid in full, and that you can have what you want. Murphy gives the example that if you see a car for sale that you want, tell yourself, that car is for sale. It is a divine idea. I accept it through divine order, through divine law. Affirm to yourself, God is my instant, constant, and abundant source of supply and that all of my needs are met right now. For bills you have to pay, tell yourself God is my instant and everlasting supply, and that bill is paid in divine order. And for anything else you might need, God is my instant supply, and that need is met right now. When you start to affirm these principles, your life will become more harmonious as you won't be relying just on your limited human power, but on something greater than you. Also, You'll have more peace and harmony as you'll be trusting in the divine when issues arise. Since applying these principles, I've seen some really amazing things occur, both in finances and relationships, and I'm looking forward to what else emerges in my life and your life once you start applying these principles. In addition to saying wealth affirmations, I also like the following statement that Murphy says to say to yourself each morning, Divine law and order governs my life. Divine right action reigns supreme. Divine success is mine. Divine harmony is mine. Divine peace fills my soul. Divine love saturates my whole being. Divine abundance is mine. Divine love goes before me today and every day, making straight, joyous, and glorious my way. I'm going to be making an affirmation track soon of Joseph Murphy affirmations that I think you'll really enjoy. Be sure to check out The Master Key to Wealth. It's a one-hour talk that can be found on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description down below.